Hello kids. Myself, Lata Khot. I am your science teacher. I hope you all are safe in home. And kids, stay in home. Okay. Okay now? See kids. This is our new academic year. Before going to start the new academic year portion, I am going to taking you a revision class from previous class study. I am revising. I am going to revise last year's means previous year's some topics. Okay. Let us see. Reproduction in plant. How reproduction in plants happen? Look here kids. Reproduction means living things, plants, animals produce more of their own kind through a reproduction. Reproduction means living things it may be plant animal insect birds they produce more of their own kind through a reproduction it is called reproduction we know that plants bear flowers plants bear flowers fruits Seeds. Yes or no? Most of plants reproduce from seeds. And some plants that reproduce through their body parts. Like a roots, stems and leaves. Not all plants reproduce from their seeds. Some plants reproduce from their Leaves. Some plants reproduce from their roots. Some plants reproduce, get reproduced through their body parts. Just like a root, stem, leaves. Okay? See here kids. Reproduction from seeds. Most plants reproduce through their seeds. Only some plants that reproduce through their body parts. Just like a sweet potato reproduce through their roots. And rose plant reproduce through their stem. Aloe vera plants that reproduce through their leaves. Okay, now see here, this is the reproduction from seeds. One of the most common method of reproduction in plants through seeds. One of the most common method. Okay, see, now some fruits have only one seeds. Inside them, such as a uh, plums, peaches, mangoes, while some seeds have many, some seeds are there in many, such as a uh, papaya, watermelon, orange, gawa. These fruits have lots of seeds. Mango has only one seed. Papaya has lots of seed inside it. Now see kids, structure of the seeds, structure of the seeds first of all we learn. A seed is a part of the plant, okay, just like a flowers, fruits. 
it is also part of the plant that can grow into a new plant let us look at the structure of a seeds as shown in the picture seed also part of the plant and it can grow into a new plant new most plants grow from a seeds it has an outer covering called the seed coat seed has outer covering this co this is called the seed coat the seed coat protect the structure of seed it has an outer covering it is called the seed coat the seed coat protect the baby plant inside from injury or water loss the baby plant is also called embryo there are two seed leaves or cotyledons there are two seed leaves or cotyledons they store food and provide they store food and provide nutrients to growing plant or growing baby plant or embryo some seeds like a maize rice wheat have a cotyledon and are called monocotyledon seeds or monocots seeds of bean peas gram have two cotyledons so that the seeds are called dicots or dicotyledon seeds corn is a monic monocotyledon seeds and a bean seeds has dicotyledons means it has two cotyledons so that it is called the dicot or dicotyledonous seeds now kids i told you we is going to see the reproduction means reproduction of seeds germination 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 means a seed contain a baby plant inside it this baby plant will grow into a small slap sapling and later into a big tree plant only when it is sown in right kind of soil and receive a adequate sunlight fresh air and water a seed contain a baby plant inside it okay this baby plant this baby plant will grow into a sapling when when it sown in right kind of soil and when it receive adequate sunlight fresh air and water and this process is called germination this process is called germination a seed into a seedling the seed into a seedling seedling into the small plant this process is called the germination okay kids okay next is dispersal of seeds dispersal of seed is a very important dispersal of seeds means it's a process of scattering seeds over a long distance and like animals plants are rooted in one place and like animals plants are rooted in one place they can't move from their own in from their own in order to reproduce 
animals move from one place to another place but plants can't move plants cannot move from one place to another place so that they need a uh, help to grow in different areas which help they will take when the wind blow the seeds fly away they take a uh, animals help birds help air water today we are going to see how the dispersal of seeds taking okay how it's happened dispersal of seeds see kids in this picture agents of dispersal of seeds seeds gets seeds get dispersed by way of wind water animals these are the agents of seed dispersal wind water animals birds these are the agents of disperse seed dispersal in certain plants seed also get dispersed when the pods containing them brushed open dispersal by wind how seeds are dispersed seeds dispersed by wind are small and light seeds are dispersed by wind that the seeds are very small and light those seeds are dispersed by wind they seeds are very light and small seeds those are dispersed by water they are very light because they should float on water they should flow in water plants that grow near a river water body is dispersed through the seeds through water the seeds float on stream rivers ponds and are carried to distant places because the seeds are light if they are heavy they settle down in water only coconut have a light and fibrous covering because of which they float on water and carried to far off lands if it's a heavy they settle down in that place only they can't float okay now see seed dispersal by animals seed dispersal by animals when fleshy fruits like a mango guava and are eaten by a man animals the seed get thrown away and dispersed some seeds have took and spines which stick to the body of the animals and are thus dispersed over a long distances understood no kids okay next see dispersal by explosion some times pots of uh, some plants brushed open on the reaping scattering the seeds over the distance plants produce more seeds as some seeds are wasted during the process of dispersal and all seeds do not germinate into a new plant understood no kids okay how seeds are dispersed dispersal of seeds now reproduction in plants from other parts of the plant i told you not all plants reproduce from only by seeds some of plants reproduce by their roots stems yes or no see here sweet potato is actually the root 
of sweet potato plant sweet potato reproduced through its roots rose plant reproduced through a stem potatoes reproduce through eyes onion plant ginger these plants are reproduced through their roots stems leaves look here kids the plants such as a bryophyllum reproduce through a small bud like growth at the edge of the leaves these buds fall off from the leaves and then grow into a new plant understood my kids okay next is food from plant till we learned revised seeds about seeds and reproduction of plants now we are going to revise food from plants most living things depend upon plants for food and nutrition that grow in a large number of called that is called the crops crops have typical need in terms temperature soil water sunlight etc major some measures taken to get a good quality crops we need good quality crops crops have typical needs to in terms of temperature soil water sunlight etc and are thus cultivated accordingly accordingly a good climate adequate sunlight water quality soil are some important factors are some important factors for growing good crops farmers must ensure the following things to able to get the healthy crops some measures are there we are going to see good quality seeds should be produced from gov government outlet or preserved from the last crop taken soil should be properly plugged and the manure of manure or fertilizer used should be according to the nature of the soil unwanted plants should regular be removed crops should be watered pro properly protection of crops from pests and insects attacks and being eaten by herbivores minimum use of pesticides fertilizers should be ensured proper storage of harvested crops should be ensured these some measures taken to get a good quality crops because we are getting food from plants most of the living things depend upon plants for food and nutrition these food we get from plants no so that some measures taken to get a good quality crops understood no kids see here george d mestral velcro was invented by swiss swiss engineer george de mestral he found a seeds to burdock fruit sticking to his clothes out of curiosity he observed the seeds under the microscope and discovered that it had a very small hooks on its surface after a series series of experiments he invented the velcro 
Velcro was invented by Swiss engineer George D. Mestral. He invented Velcro. Okay. Who invented the Velcro? George D. Mestral, a Swiss engineer. He is a Swiss engineer. He invented the Velcro. He found the seeds of the burdock fruit sticking on sticking to its his clothes out of curiosity he observed the seeds under the microscope and discovered that the it has a very small hooks on its surface so it sticking to the clothes understood no kids velcro who was invented Velcro was invented by a Swiss engineer George D. Mestral. Okay. Thank you, kids.